Today I want to try out Google's new 3D tool that is supposedly fun, creative and surprisingly useful even for professional 3D animators. So I just played around a bit before recording this and I, I think we're just gonna dive right in and see if we can make something. The purpose of this tool, it's not an official tool released by Google by the way, the purpose of this tool is to give 3D artists an easy way of planning their animation. But I think there's a lot of ways you can plan for your animation, like thumbnailing, referencing, sketching over your reference footage, tons of ways you can plan for an animation. However, I want to try it, I want to see what we can do with this, and let's dive right in. So we have three buttons right here, it says draw, inflate, and animate. Keep in mind I'm drawing with a mouse, so it's not going to be pretty, but you could, I tried this, you could use a tablet if you have one. So let's make a shape like this for something like that you can delete it right there if you're not happy with it all right let's try that again make his body red like that fist something like that forearm and his arm let me make his head maybe something like that See if we can. Oh, that's a bit big. <laughs> that's big, big. That's a bit big. Let's try and make his eye. See if that works. Maybe I should have done this earlier. I don't know. Something like that. Okay. I hope this is working. So, what we have to do now is double click this so it becomes red and double click the legs because we want those to be mirrored over to the other side. You can do it as well for the eye, maybe. Let's try that. Now, step two is inflate. Let it do its magic. That is weird. So I suppose we go back and fix a few things. So go back to the drawing board, select the eye, delete that. Let's draw that again. So make his body a bit smaller, something like that. I don't know and his legs with huge feet apparently try that again right now his big shoulders right there fist and his upper arm now let's see double click here double click there Say inflate. All right. Now with, oh, there's still an eye. Let's ignore that one. <laughs> so uh, with the middle mouse, you can rotate around and with shift middle mouse, you can pan around the view. I haven't quite figured out how to zoom in or out. Um, it is inflated and I want to go to animate, place some controller right here just by clicking and now you can move around his body. I want to click another one in his feet and maybe right in his wrist like that. Now turn around. And do the same thing here, also in his wrist, and that looks messy. <laughs> Side profile doesn't look that bad, but this is a mess. Okay, never mind that. I want to place it right there in the center of the body, but why doesn't it do that? Place it in the neck for now then. It's weird that it places it right there. Pin one right there as well. Pin right there. It's sort of like the puppet tool in After Effects if you ever work with that. It really annoys me that I cannot zoom out. 
All right, say we're happy with this pose. Now I want to start by, yeah, let's do the head. Say record right here. And I can just say, what, what do we want to do? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Maybe up, down, up, down, up, down. You see? So that is animated right now. If you're not happy, again, pause it and you can say delete. Just pressing the bin icon. Uh, let's do it again. And just go around, round, round, and right here, stop. Timing is really difficult in this program, but let's say we're happy with that. Cool. Now what I want to do is grab the wrist, maybe. Let's play that. Let's do that again. Grab the wrist. Let's do something like that. Starting from here, draw them back, punch, and go back. <laughs> That's weird. All right, stop it again. It's kind of odd that this point is not really sticking the leg, steadying it. Let's get rid of this animation, pull it up. Let's get rid of this point. This is a mess. All right. Let's taste the wrist, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Something like that, I don't know. No. Let's select that one, press record. Let it play. I don't know. Maybe something like that. What can we do with these? Not much. <laughs> Bring them up a little higher, maybe. This looks weird. The front view is so messed up. I mean, it's it's a fast way to try and block something out or try out ideas, maybe. But I mean, it's really hard to get like a clean arc or get your timing and your spacing right. And I feel like you're very limited when it comes to movements. Export animation as Let's do that. All right, so there's a warning saying it might crash. Three roll frames, zero. Full quality, yeah, sure. Export. Let's see what it does. In Blender, I say import GLTF. Copy the path. There it is. All right. So it is 70 frames long. So make our timeline that. There you go. Let's get rid of this stupid eye. Cool, <laughs> I guess. Uh, now, let's see if we duplicate this, what can we do? Uh, let's put a remesh modifier on there. All 
Are those separate islands or no? They're merged together. That's that's not cool. What can we do? Say enable smooth shading. That's horrific. Ugh. All right, let's use this tool like it was intended. Let's make a simple character and animate it according to our prototype. And of course, try and do it a bit better. So I'm just gonna start modeling with some round cubes. I think let's rotate it on the Z axis like this. So we can use the mirror mode if we do sculpt. The monster mash re uh, really didn't give us the shape we wanted. It just inflated on one axis. Uh, this could be a bit tighter. work. This bone I don't want to be a deforming bone. Mm, this is the head bone that should be a deforming bone. The elbows should not be deforming. Bring back our guy. Move it down here. rid of the subdivision and the remesh. Delete all groups. Try that again with automatic weights. That's better. Uh, I want to keep from all of these for location and rotation. Move this one, move, move these two up a bit. Like that. This one. Maybe a bit back. Right. I don't know where this is going, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if this could be something helpful. Um, now go forward. Where does he punch? Here. Let's go forward like. This is gonna get repetitive real quick. So I'm just gonna speed through and see you a bit further along the line where I animated a bit more. But basically what I did is I copied the keyframes I saw in the prototype and just adjusted the timing a bit, introduced nice arcs and introduced uh, good breakdowns. So the process after this took roughly 27 minutes, let's say half an hour uh, to finish this animation. So you could say this is a nice way to get a quick animation out do I think it could have been done without it? Sure, would have been faster. I don't know. This ain't the most complicated animation, so I think you could handle it without this prototyping thing. All in all, it's pretty fun to try out, so I recommend it to anyone. Recommend it as a definite or an absolute workflow. I'm not sure about that. There are several ways you can go about it. It was a fun experience and I think you should give it a try. Well, we've got an animation. 
Is it particularly good? I'm not sure about that. If I had more time to spend on it, I could polish it a bit more. I enjoyed this little experiment. I hope you did too. Monster Mesh can create relatively good things from what I've seen in the documentation. As an animator, I feel like I can set those examples shown in the documentation up just as quick in my current workflow, guaranteeing me more control and creative freedom on top of that professional quality. This was just a quick experiment from my part and I wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below what you thought. If you want to see more content in the future, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. As always, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Ciao.